Hi, I'm John Craven with BevNet, and we're here at the 2017 Expo West Show in Anaheim, and I'm at the booth of Watermelon Water, and I'm joined by Jody Levy and Christine Parrish. Thanks for joining me, guys. Hi, John. Thanks Happy for having be here. us. So your uh, booth has been really busy up here. You guys have a lot of stuff going on. Uh, start with your new executive hire, Christine, here. We're very excited. Christine Parrish joined us about six weeks ago and is rocking out. I'll let her tell you about her background, but... We are a very happy Watermelon Water family under her leadership. So, yeah, I guess what uh, sort of brought you over to Watermelon Water and, you know, what's it like being in this space for craft beer? Sure. Um, well, what brought me to Watermelon Water is Jody. Um, this brand is amazing. The mission is amazing. Um, I have a passion for health and wellness, so what Jody and her team have done and are doing was really, you know, impactful for me. I had a great run in craft beer. I had a ton of fun. I have a you know, a personal passion for health and wellness. And so I wasn't really sure what I wanted to do. I was sort of taking a bit of a break and I met Jody and I learned more about the company and I tried the watermelon water and I fell in love. Um, and I'm having a great time. You know, my hope is that I can help take some of the experience I have from craft beer and scaling a company that's very mission driven and values driven and bring that experience over to watermelon water. And I guess for Jody, like what kind of made this the right time to, to do this? Um, you know, cosmic intervention, I guess. <laughs> there you go. I guess the company, of course, is, you know, scaling and growing fast, um, or you wouldn't have Christine here. Uh, can you just give us a sense of kind of where Watermelon Water is at, you know, from a growth perspective? Um, you know, anything you care to share? Sure. So, uh, we finally, two days ago, announced our new blends which we actually formulated three years ago when we formulated what we call the OG, the original gangster, which is our original watermelon water. And we kind of held out, you know, we were really focused on bringing awareness to the product and the functional benefits, building the brand and building the category. And now that the category is established and we're in 15,000 plus stores around the United States and people have access to watermelon water, we really felt like it was the right time to introduce three new SKUs that have added functional benefit. So never frivolous flavors, but real like added function. And that helps us emphasize, you know, the hydration performance angle of what the product is aiming to do for athletes and everyday athletes. So with that, you know, there's um, a lot of opportunity, especially in the conventional channels, where additional SKUs and additional function help us gain the kind of space and traction that we've had in the natural channel. And so yeah, we're just, we're continuing on. We're actually really um, taking a more sustainable approach to our growth. You know, it's not about flying and going as fast as we can. It's about building and continuing to build the foundation in a way that everything's working together. And you guys have sort of had a history of you know, actually being involved in kind of the sourcing, growing, farming of the watermelons. How has that kind of evolved over the past couple of years as you've grown? Well, we now have growers around the country who are prioritizing their waste. So they, you know, we're working with our farmers that who are like pulling and, and really giving love to what used to be tilled back into the soil. And when we can't buy waste melons from growers around the country, we're actually growing in Puerto Rico. So we've been working with the Secretary of Agriculture in Puerto Rico, and we've got acres and acres and acres of fields. I'll send you the drone footage. It's so much fun. And 80% of it's being you know, backhauled to the United States to be made into watermelon water. 20% of it goes towards the local community. And um, we, you know, we're trying. It's not totally vertical, vertically integrated, nor are we aiming for that. We're just trying to be responsible and use best practices wherever we can. And I love that Christine really understands in the balance of all, you know, building the strong foundation and helping to scale the company, how important kind of the give backs are. Um, you know, with the launch of the blends for the first six months, we're exclusively with Whole Foods. And there's a percentage of our profits that are going towards the Whole Planet Foundation, which gives micro loans to people that are uh, growing or making ingredients, primarily women. And so there's things like that, that are really important to us as leaders of this company and to the whole ethos of what the company stands for. And I guess for Christine, you know, how do you sort of manage kind of maximizing growth and, you know, keeping something like a mission, you know, that Watermelon has kind of in check, 
and you know sustainable. Right. Well, one of the things that attracted me to Watermelon Water is the fact that Jody had set out a vision early on. That doesn't happen in a lot of startups. You know, you kind of have this thing you like to do and you just go do it. Where Jody had a very broad vision of what this meant to her and what the mission was. And so I feel like my job is to honor that mission and grow in a really scalable way. So, you know, not get out over our skis, not be crazy, but grow really methodically, make sure we have the right infrastructure so we don't lose sight of all the things that matter most to us. And I guess you, are, are you saying that that's important that the mission was kind of there in the beginning versus added on later? I think so. I think businesses are much more successful if they early on understand where they're trying to go and they can create that roadmap and then you know, it, you, you get where you're trying to go, but you get there in a way that you feel really good about. So as 2017 is kind of, you know, well underway here, what are the goals for Watermelon Water? You know, it's our hope to continue to grow our brand and to reach more people. You know, ultimately with a brand like ours, where we're trying to really teach people about clean, healthy eating and what their options are, um, especially for athletes to have access to a functional drink that's really healthy for them. Um, the bigger we can get, the bigger our messaging. So we're looking forward to being a little bit bigger and conventional in 17. And I guess this being a natural product show, how important is natural for you guys still? Is that something that is, you know, I guess getting smaller as a part of the business or? No, natural is very important to us. I mean, it's our roots, it's where we started, but you know, we want to be able to reach more and more consumers and more and more people. So we'll continue to broaden out. And I guess if it's more retail you're after, can't ignore conventional is kind of the bottom line. Exactly. I think the lines are being blurred also between the two. I mean, we, we love natural, uh, the people that really understand how clean our product is and the promises of what go into watermelon water and how we produce and how we source ingredients. That's where the people that are really conscientious are. And we're seeing more and more people in their lifestyles are, are using both, right? Depending on where they are, or how they're, where, like where they are and, and how they're shopping. And so I think that um, it's just about allowing us to be in more places and spreading the liquid love, as we call it. Well, that certainly creates a lot more opportunity for you if the lines are blurred, for sure, right? Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Well, hey, guys, thank you very much for your time. Uh, best of luck at the show here, and uh, looking forward to seeing what you, do, what you guys do this year. Thanks so much. Thanks, Thanks guys. Thanks for having us, John.